Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to be providing tips for keeping up with your medications. Hi, and welcome back to the Living Well with Schizophrenia channel. My name is Lauren, and I make videos about what it's like to live with schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so as not to miss anything. Also, if you would like to help support us in creating these videos, please check out the link to our Patreon page in the description below. Once you become a patron, you also gain access to our private Discord community where we offer various types of peer support, such as weekly peer support groups. So if this community is of interest to you, or if you just like to to support us in making these videos, please check out the link to our Patreon page. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of our current patrons. We absolutely could not be doing this without you. Thank you so much. All right, so I think that medication adherence is something that a lot of people who are living with schizophrenia spectrum illnesses or really mental illnesses in general experience. I know that me personally, I have had a lot of difficulties with this, ranging from you know delusions about medications to just not being able to make that you know executive functioning leap to like refill my medications or to even just take them even when I have them. And so in today's video, we are going to be providing some tips or tricks to you know better be able to take your medications regularly. So I guess we'll get started with actually getting your medications from the pharmacy. So there are a couple steps that I make sure to include in my medication repertoire, such as setting a reminder on my phone for when I need to refill prescriptions. Also something that has been kind of life-changing for me is the auto renewal function with pharmacies. Some pharmacies offer the option to just automatically refill your prescriptions every month or however long your um, prescription is for. And honestly, that has been just game changing for me to get a text from my pharmacy every month that my prescriptions are ready to be picked up. So it just kind of eliminates that added step of calling the pharmacy to refill my prescription and then going to get it. My pharmacy also makes it possible to refill prescriptions by phone through their automated service or by speaking with a pharmacist. They can do online refill orders, and they also have an app for the pharmacy that you can refill your prescriptions through too. So make sure to explore these options at your local pharmacy. The next kind of tip about getting your medications from the pharmacy is that if you aren't going to see your doctor in time to get a refill before your prescription runs out, some pharmacists actually have prescribing power. So they can give you, you know, you can, you can talk to them and figure out how to get you to your next appointment with your doctor, whether that's you know prescribing a week or two weeks or whatever you need to get you through to seeing your doctor again. This has been really helpful for me when I forget to make another appointment to get another prescription from my doctor or you know, if I'm waiting for a med change or whatever, you can work with the pharmacist to kind of figure out how to get you to your next appointment. Another tip for getting your meds from the pharmacy is that they can actually put your meds into a bubble pack. So, you know, a lot of times people who are living with schizophrenia spectrum illnesses have multiple meds to keep track of. And I have deeply struggled with this. You know, I've been on like seven medications at a time and to be able to, you know, separate all those pill bottles and whatnot into what you need to take every day is difficult. And so it's, it's, it can be helpful to kind of eliminate that barrier by getting them in a bubble pack or sometimes called a blister pack from the pharmacy. It's basically just this sheet of, you know, cardboard with plastic bubble containers for each day or each time you need to take your medication that the pharmacist organizes your pills into for you. So that can be really helpful. Another way to kind of organize your pills, and this is perhaps my biggest tip, is to get a pill organizer or a pill box. This is the one that I use. It has been really helpful um, because it has both the AM and the PM for the whole weeks. I'm currently only taking medications at night, so I just use it as a full two weeks to have my meds sorted out for, which is really, really helpful in terms of just being able to go to bed at night and just dump out my pills that I need, take them and go to bed. It really eliminates the hassle and the pain that it is to individually take out each pill from the pill containers. And so that was really game changing for me as well. And that is my biggest tip, 
get a pill box. It really helps. You can find these at your local pharmacy or we will also link to one in the description if you want to order one online. So I mentioned that you can set reminders in your phone for when you need to refill your prescription, but it's also really, really helpful to set reminders in your phone for when you need to take your medications. I know that especially when I'm changing regimens or whatnot, it can be really, really difficult to remember to take your medications. Or sometimes you're just like, you think about it, but then you forget or it's not important to you in the moment, but if you have that tangible reminder in your phone, it's kind of that extra, you know, incentive or kick in the pants, I guess, to go and take your medication at the specific time that you're supposed to. Another thing that's helpful for me in terms of remembering to take my medication is having it in an area where I know I'm going to be and know I'm going to be interacting with at the time that I'm supposed to take them. So I take mine at night. So I have, or I used to have them on my bedside table um, so that I would see them with a bottle of water right before bed. Now I keep them in the bedside drawer because I live with children, but same concept. If you take yours in the morning, perhaps you could put it with your um, toiletries that you use to get ready in the morning or beside the shower if you shower in the morning or even beside your breakfast bowl if you have cereal in the morning or that kind of thing, just somewhere where you are going to be um, you know, triggered to take your medication. If you live with other people, you can also ask someone to just kind of help remind you every day. That was really helpful for me when I first moved in with my partner, Rob, to just kind of have that extra check-in, like, hey, did you take your meds? And I'd be like, oh yeah, I forgot. Or yeah, I took them, no problem. And then that's that. And that can be really helpful too. So all of these tips that I mentioned are kind of tips to remove barriers to make it easier to take your medication. However, I totally understand that adherence is still a really big problem for a number of reasons for people who are living with a schizophrenia spectrum illness. I know for me, I have really, really struggled with delusions around medications and have felt that I don't need them or, you know, all these things. And so there is also the option to take them every day at your pharmacy. So this is what I did during one period of time when I was really, really struggling. My psychiatrist understood that I was having a really hard time keeping up with my medications. And so he set it up with my local pharmacist um, to go and take my pills every day from the pharmacy in front of a pharmacist. And, you know, I think that this was a little bit embarrassing, I'm going to be honest, but also it was tremendously helpful. You know, I had that accountability factor to go and take my medications because someone was waiting for me to give them to me. And it was kind of like, it was a little bit of a check-in too, a daily check-in so that someone was seeing me and seeing how I was doing in a period where I was really, really struggling. Another option for if you're having a hard time with adherence to medications is the injections or the depots. Um, so there are a few antipsychotics that are available through injection format and they can be good for anywhere from three weeks to summer, like three or six months that they're, that they last for. And so that just kind of eliminates the task of every day having to decide whether or not you're going to take your medication. You just make the decision once and then it's in you for a prolonged period of time. This was something else that I did when I was really, really struggling with taking oral medication was I would go to my nurse at my mental health clinic um, every three weeks or so to get my injection. And that way, if I was having any difficulties about taking it, she could kind of talk me through it. And it could be, you know, more of a collaborative process in terms of taking my medication. And then, like I said, I wouldn't have to think about it for the next three weeks, which was helpful. Now, another, you know, kind of thing that comes up with adherence or problem that people experience with adhering to medication is just the side effects that exist with antipsychotic medication or really any type of psychiatric medication. I know that the side effects can really suck. So, you know, I think that it's really, really important as a tip to keeping up with medication to be as open and honest with your doctor as possible about the side effects that you're experiencing and how they're making you feel about taking your medication. Um, I think that's a really important thing that is kind of often overlooked. I think that people, there's like this power dynamic with the psychiatrist and the patient where the patient just kind of feels that they should take whatever the psychiatrist prescribes, even if they're experiencing side effects, because that is what the doctor said would be best. 
But, you know, I think it's it's important to remember that it is a collaborative process figuring out which medications work best for you. And so it's really important for you to provide that feedback to your psychiatrist about what kind of side effects you're feeling, how you're feeling about the medications that you're on, to hopefully try to work together to find something that is the best fit for you with the least side effects possible. A more simple solution than switching medications might be just to talk with your doctor about when would be the best time of day to take it. So I was feeling really, really groggy and lethargic on my medication. And so my doctor and I made the decision to switch to taking all my medication in the evening um, around bedtime or around dinner time or whatever, so that I would experience that, that, you know, groggy, lethargic state while I was sleeping primarily. Now, you know, I still feel this way when I wake up in the morning and mornings are kind of difficult, but it's better than when I was taking it in the morning and feeling like this all day throughout the day. So time of day might be something to explore with your psychiatrist too in terms of when you take your medications. So these are all some tips and tricks that I've used in terms of how I keep up with my medications, but I would love to hear from you guys as well. If you have any additional tips that I didn't mention in this video, we would love to hear about them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you'd like to see more videos from us, make sure to subscribe. Also, just a quick reminder that if you want to help support us in creating these videos, to please check out our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, wishing you and your loved ones good health. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.